Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you are watching the Inner Child Collective, where you and your inner child heal for the better. Welcome, and welcome to um, today's segment. This is actually a message for the inner child. This is going to be do something I'll be doing every Wednesday, um, so be on the lookout for it. If any of the messages resonate with you in any way, shape, or form, please let me know by clicking that like button sharing it and you know sharing your thoughts in the comments also subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss another another video um if you are on facebook twitter or instagram you can follow the inner child collective on there as well and let me know about the video um on there as well i'm looking forward to hearing from you um and if you resonate with this message, so please share as much as you possibly can, because the more people know about, you know, reparenting their inner child and connecting with their inner child, the better, right? So the message that I received from spirit in regards to, you know, um, our greatness, that's the message I have received that we at this time are to tap into our greatness, to know that we are destined for greatness. So many of us, you know, have who have gone through so many trials and tribulations in our home as children, have been abused and been trauma, tra traumatized as children. A lot of us have been told that we were nothing, that we will not amount to anything, that nothing we do or anything we say will not matter. And a lot of us have internalized those messages to the point where we really do believe that. And we end up growing up believing these messages to the point where we are self-sabotaging and we are really allowing ourselves to not see our greatness and to experience our greatness because of, of a lot of those old tapes that are playing in our mind. So what I'm getting from spirit is that we are supposed to learn about ourselves, to learn about our experiences, to take our experiences as um, in the, in the, the messages that we have learned as children and see them as what they are, lies. There are lies. There are lies that have been told to us by people who do not recognize their own greatness, who don't, don't recognize their own success because they are knee deep in their generational and historical trauma. A lot of their trauma, which is very much unhealed, is basically in, wrapped, around their, um, their, wrapped around in their DNA. It was very much in their DNA. So all they are experiencing and everything they have, have been saying to you is basically the, uh, their assessment of themselves that have been passed down from one generation to the next. And so we are supposed to this generation we are supposed to be breaking the cycle we are supposed to be breaking this tidal wave right getting rid of that tidal wave of negativity that is like in our minds right now and the reason that is is because we are destined for greatness we are destined to know our purpose on this earth we are destined to know about life without trauma life with peace and joy and happiness it's not just about you know holding on to this trauma story, holding on to what happened to us. We're not supposed to be doing that. We are not supposed to be doing that. We're supposed to be living, living in joy and prosperity and, and, and realizing and recognizing and experiencing and internalizing love. And when I say about love, I'm not talking about the woo woo and peace, love and understanding, you know, that you see, you know, hear about in the new age, you know, community. What I am saying is that we are supposed to be internalizing and recognizing our great this by recognizing our divinity. When we recognize our divinity, we are recognizing ourselves. And that requires us to decolonize our minds, and decolonize our subconscious thoughts, you know, and stop running this tape, you know, um, filled with messages that don't belong to us, that were never meant for us anyway. A lot of those messages that we have uh, heard, you know, when we were children, those messages were never for us. They were for the people or they have, you know, they were for the people who have not done their healing work. It is not supposed to be for them anyway. A lot of white supremacist ideologies around the self has in turn, have been internalized by our perpetrators or those um, who are supposed to be uh, our sub biggest supporters who are supposed to be loving us. And because they weren't able to do what they were supposed to be doing because of their own unhealed trauma, we are to uh, reparent ourselves. And one way to show you know, love and understanding towards ourselves and to heal, right, is to recognize that every thought, every message, every negative message that has been thrown at us 
is did not belong to us. It does not belong with us, and we are not to leave this earth, you know, uh, you know, leave our physical bodies, you know, with those thoughts in our mind. Uh, those those thoughts don't belong to us. They never belong to us. And we are, you know, and I put myself in that category, considering that I am, um, that I am also, a, a, you know, a trauma survivor, and have been told many, many times before that I was nothing, and and this is not for no reason. My mother and my father and all these other people who are supposed to be caring about me also, you know, struggle with those messages in regards to the self. And what ends up happening is that um, they've decided, you know, that they were going to hold on to those stories. And they ended up, you know, you know, giving those stories to me, telling me those false messages because they have not done their own healing. People in their family have not done their healing either. So they, in so many ways, put the responsibility, you know, of doing the healing work and doing this healing work on my mother, on my father, on other people in my family who have not had the tools, you know, in the room, in the space to do their own healing. So guess what? They're in survival mode. And a lot of us are in survival mode right now because of what has been told to us. We're all in survival mode right now because of what has been done to us. You know what I mean? So what end up, what I'm getting from spirit, what end up happening is according to what I'm getting from spirit is that a lot of us really do believe that what we've experienced is what is what defines us right? Our experience is, you know, defined us, you know, defines us rather to the point where we feel like there is no um, need for change. We don't recognize the need for change. If anything, we don't even realize that we are able to change. What ends up happening is that we end up believing that everything that happens to us, we were at fault. Um, not only were we at fault, but, but it's, irre it's irreversible. A lot of the damage that, you know, damage that has been caused to us, a lot of the pain and suffering that we are going through, we live with that forever. That belongs to us. And therefore, we really do believe that we are not able to change. So we end up being stuck in survival mode as a result of us not wanting to change or not or feeling or recognizing or not recognizing the fact that we can change. Spirit is basically saying that our, um, our, our experiences, our traumatic experiences, we don't own them and they don't belong to us and they are very much um, reversible. We can switch our DNA. We can transform our, our experiences by recognizing our greatness and recognizing that a lot of what has been said to us doesn't belong to us. This is a time for us to repair our inner child, regardless of what archetype you have internalized, because what ends up happening is that when you don't recognize your greatness, you don't recognize the greatness of your inner child, and they're going to show up, you know, and when they do show up and they are not listened to, they're going to be in survival mode. And when they're in survival mode, you are going to be in survival mode because you're basically, um, you're basically a puppet for them. You know what I mean? What I mean by that is that your inner child lives in your unconscious mind. They are your unconscious energy. They drive your behavior because that's where that's the whole purpose of the unconscious mind. The whole of, you know the premise of the unconscious mind is basically um, its ability. Okay, it has a story of its own. Your unconscious mind has a story of its own, and they tell their stories through your actions. Your inner child is using your subconscious memories and subconscious thoughts to live their experiences, which is why a lot of times trauma victims or trauma survivors end up doing things, you know, on a mere survival, doing things in autopilot, using a lot of coping and defense mechanisms to push people away, to self-sabotage, to basically like live this existence as if you're not supposed to be great is because our inner child is not being listened to and they're using your unconscious mind, your unconscious thoughts, everything that they have gone through to basically tell their stories through your actions. There's a lot of us who are um, children in adults' clothing and living adult experiences, you know, because we're not listening 
to our inner child and they're allowing they're allowing themselves to be known through you one way or the other so what better way to love that inner child listen to that inner child to heal okay by listening to them listening to them recognizing their greatness recognizing them telling them in every way shape or form that everything that happened to them is not their fault nothing that you did was your fault nothing you did was your fault you understand i want people to and i don't want y'all to recognize i encourage you to recognize your greatness through your inner child energy work because when you listen to your inner child you're able to connect you're able to connect the dots. You're able to recognize and realize as an adult, as a chronologically, you know, adjusted adult or whatnot. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what words to, to say with that. But basically, like, um, when it comes to connecting to your inner child, you will start to recognize that a lot of what you both heard, a lot of what they heard is showing up in your adult life. So this is the time for you to literally listen to your, your inner child that go deep within, do shadow work around it, basically go through a, go into a meditative state and literally start to gain that trust and gain that relationship with your inner child. Listen to them because they have questions. They have questions about what happened to them. They have questions about, you know, what, how, what 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 they experience about what they've been experienced and what they've heard they have questions and they also have their own mindset because that's what happens that's what happens your child your inner child also has their own mind they have their own dreams they have their own ambitions they have their own sense of the world it is up to you to help them correct anything and everything that tells them that they are not great. It is up to you to repair them and be the parent that you wish that you had. So, I, and, and, and not only like develop those traits for yourself, but to develop those traits for your inner child. Develop those traits, those, 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 those traits of all the, the parent that you wished you had, all the attributes you wished your, your parents had, be that for yourself and be that for your inner child so that when you recognize their greatness, they automatically recognize theirs. So that is all I have for today's message. If you resonate with that message in any way, shape, or form, by all means, let me know in the comments. You can also like the video. Also, let people know that I'm here. Let people know that I'm here by sharing you know, this video on your um, social media pages. You can also subscribe to the channel um, to 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 make sure you never miss another video. If you also would like a more in-depth reading, you can go to, um, I, I could put the, the link on there, but basically you can go to my service page and you can like pick all kinds of services. There's so many to choose from. So a lot of them um, actually focuses on the inner child. Um, and also if you follow social media anyway, or you're on social media in any way, shape or form, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Instagram. I'm thinking about TikTok, but that seems like kind of, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely see. And like some, some of tell me to go on TikTok, so I may do that. But right now, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Very active on those uh, on those sites. So, um, yes, thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. Until next time, peace. <laughs>